Hello, this is Tim Nichols with 3 million percent. Welcome to the show. I wanted to present to you small business survival guide for economic uncertainty. Now I wanted to present this to you because I've been through it as a financial advisor. I've been through crashes. I've been through recoveries and I've learned techniques, strategies, and tactics to try to survive it actually to survive it. So I want to share that with you today in this presentation. In the Small Business Survival Guide to Economic Uncertainty, I want to give you some immediate actions that you can take to grow, your, grow through challenging times. Manage your mindset. Convey stability and relevance to your customers and clients. Create thought leadership and establish community. Now we're going to go into depth here on managing your mindset we're going to break this down for you in ways that you can apply it immediately. So your emotions follow your motion. You can change your emotions by changing your focus or physiology. You feel what you focus on. So we want to create a different feeling for you to focus on. So physical activity releases endorphins to create positive outlook and energy. So by lifting weights, you feel stronger. By running or walking, you increase your stamina or endurance. By doing yoga or stretching, you increase your flexibility, calm, and focus. So you'll feel smarter, stronger, and more capable to lead your clients or customers, and it gives you hope and a sense of accomplishment. We want you to establish community also among those with whom you're doing the activity. So uh, some, there are some groups out there that meet like Camp Gladiator, uh, there might be a group of people at the gym that you know. So I encourage you to maintain that community with them. Then we want to elevate your posture. So stand or walk as erect as possible with your chin up, with a forward outlook. It creates confidence and a positive outlook. Your body language actually conveys the perceived success, stability, and relevance and necessity of your business without you saying a word. So if you're looking down even at your phone, your shoulders slump forward, you'll be able to, you'll appear to be depressed even if you're not. Maintain a positive social profile. So it's easy to get lost in social media as a distraction. But one thing I want you to think about is create, post, or share positive news, articles, videos, or images on social media. In business, encouragement signals thought leadership. Thought leadership signals strength, and strength signals trust. On the other hand, negativity signals fear. Fear signals doubt, and doubt signals weakness. Here's something you can do every day. Get up, dress up, show up. Prepare yourself mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually for a successful day. Dress up, fix your hair, brush your teeth. Present yourself as successful. Wear brightly colored clothes. Radiate positivity. This impacts how you feel about yourself and how others perceive, perceive you. So wearing pajamas or lounge clothing all day feeds into a mindset of slothiness or depression. Even your kids could pick up on that. If you, know, if you ha now have to work from home while homeschooling, dress in what you'd wear to go to your job. So if you're homeschooling, have your children dress for school. That'll create focus and results-driven work mindset. Take massive action. So here we have the success cycle or the momentum cycle as presented by Tony Robbins. So what this means is if you take massive action, you'll get better results. But we, first we have to increase our belief. So the greater the belief leads to greater potential. Greater potential leads to desire to take massive action. By taking massive action, that leads to greater results. And that creates the cycle. So your belief goes up, then your potential, then your massive action and results. On the other hand, it can go negative if you take less action you'll get less results, your belief goes down, your potential goes down, and then you even take less action. So take massive action. Convey stability and relevance to your customers, clients, and peers. So focus on your clients and customers first. Uh, that conveys your business is stable, relevant, and necessary to them. It 
also changes your focus from your circumstances, anxiety, fear, depression, or anger. And it lets them know that you care about them. So we want to create a top of mind awareness with them. And you may learn of new opportunities to serve them or their referrals. Also, share current updates or research regarding your products or services. Now, here's something that a lot of people might not think about is encouraging your peers in the business community. Don't forget their potential clients as well. So let's th let them know that you care about them. It changes your focus again, and it may learn of new opportunities. It may allow you to learn of new opportunities to serve them or their referrals. So learn how to help them connect uh, to referral generators that make it help them maintain or increase their, their revenue streams. Positivity and encouragement among business owners overflows into the hearts and minds of our customers and clients. If customers get negative, they stop spending money or they move to online spending. Now consider this, create thought leadership. Be the resource that everyone comes to for information, positivity, and encouragement. People are searching so hard for information and hope. They're easily distracted. So since schools are closed and many are working from home and social gatherings of people are limited to less than 50 people, it's kind of hard to network. So physical relationship building opportunities, they've been halted. So chambers can allow people to meet in groups over 50. And a lot of businesses are saying no person to person contact at all. So a lot of times people get this false reality, perception and information, of, it just presents false hope. And they're learning that through social media, through watching the news. So change how you think, but start relaying that positivity and encouragement. Utilize video to communicate. So since it's hard to maintain that person to person contact, we have to do it a different way. People are growing tired of reading posts, texts, and emails to gain information and communication, especially since they're having to work from home. So present information, offer encouragement, and communicate being video calls, via video calls, or recorded videos. So that creates top of mind awareness of you and your brand. It allows communication and relationship depth through nonverbal cues, such as facial expressions, body language, eye movement, and that bright clothing that you have on. Also, it maintains a deeper sense of community. It creates a perception of authority or thought leadership for hosts of calls and producers of videos. Think about this. The YouTube kings are the ones in control. They're the ones that have all the videos already out, and so people are just binge watching YouTube educational videos or for entertainment. So video production tools that will create thought leadership would be like dub video. Instead of emailing or texting, you can use dub video to record from your phone, upload it to dub, and you can input that into emails and it bypasses the, the Google uh, filters to keep videos from going through. So it makes them bounce to another page to watch the video, but that allows you to create higher open rates and response rates and with an email and then offers analytics for open rates, watch times, and keyword searches. And it offers sharing emoticon responses, comments, and email responses as well. Now, another avenue would be YouTube video, but that's really for product, service, or entertainment. But uh, I like to use it for product, service, message marketing, and story branding. It offers video editing, production, captions, keyword search tools, and it's optimized for how-to videos. I've even seen plumbers do how-to videos on YouTube and their authority, their thought leadership is outrageous. They are now known throughout the nation. So this is important for you to do to gain that authority acceleration. Now, video call or conferencing tools have become pretty popular here lately, especially with people working at home. Zoom is pretty well known. It offers limited access, though, uh, for, for free. It's free. 
but it offers limited access and it's good for client or customer conference calls that will last less than 45 minutes. And I've been told that ends the call with no warning at 45 minutes, but it does offer recording capabilities. Uh, if you want to step into a higher level of robust options, there is a paid monthly or annual subscription. One that I like is a purchased app called Hey Summit. It offers unlimited access. It's good for businesses with multiple team members that would need unlimited time requirements for simultaneous calls. So you could have team members that are on calls at the same time with different groups of people. And it offers recording capabilities as well. Now let's get into establishing community. So we know that there are a lot of people in need. We know that there are people hurting. We may be one of those, okay? But I want you to change your mindset this way by going and volunteering at nonprofits and helping your neighbors and friends. So serve those affected by the economic disruption as a volunteer, engage in active, active service roles that will create opportunities to build relationships with your fellow citizens. Create drop-off or pick-up locations for nonprofits that receive donations and serve in a capacity to deliver items to those in need. And invite fellow business professionals to serve alongside you. It'll help deepen your relationship with them while elevating your profile in the community. Now with business owners, entrepreneurs, and professionals, we have to help our local businesses stay in business. So shop locally as much as possible. Buy gift cards to be used at a later date. If you must use online services, try to use providers that will also support your business. Maintain memberships that still offer physical, mental, business, being marketing, or financial benefit. Now, you can join a peer advisory group that is a small group format, and it's offered in person or virtually. Right now, considering the current health condition of our communities and the fear over virus, we have moved to more and more virtual, but we do offer the in-person version. Uh, it's designed to enhance the profitability, referrals, and community for business owners, entrepreneurs, and professionals. So while there are no opportunities for networking right now, this is ideal. It serves as a resource for strategies and tactics, encouragement, accountability, camaraderie, and guidance. And it's focused referral generation, so it reduces the need for networking within large crowds by leveraging the relationship networks of each member. You don't have to journey alone. To learn more of these strategies, tactics, or how to join a peer advisory group, please click the link below in the comments and you'll be directed towards information about 3 million percent growth groups and 3 million percent inner circle. Catch us on the next video and we're going to, be to we're going to discuss some more strategies and tactics to help you succeed and help you survive this economic uncertainty. We look forward to seeing you there.